Reality probably dawned more than any other time in this lovely euphoric you know, uh, moment after you see the babies for the first time, where you say, right, let's bring them home to yes. Ireland. Mm -hmm. um, now, I, I, I don't know what it's like necessarily to travel with one baby across the Atlantic Ocean, but three. I mean, that's... That's, that's uh, P.T. Barnum and Circus uh, yeah, on the moon. It was, it was a big it was actually, process. It was actually yeah. quite... I mean, John organises everything. He's, he's fantastic. He's the logistics he, he, guy. He does I, all that. He does all that. I did the work. He does all that. All right, got it. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, so we were... We, we were Alaskan on the flight. Yeah. yeah there's, there's a, a shock. Laugh. There's a shock. We had to feed the babies and change the babies, and they literally closed the doors as we got on. Get away. You know? And uh, they, uh, Aer Lingus had the, the, the cardboard cots, you know? Yes. And the three of them were laid, laid up there, and... There was a queue down the plane for people to come up and see them because it's it ridiculous. just went around the plane. The captain came down no, to, the, to have the, a look the, at these the babies. The stewardess, she was a lovely girl. Mm. She came up and said, oh, what's the story? And she said, mm. oh, and what she realised was two dads with three kids. And she's yeah. coming in. And who's Abby? Uh, yeah. They're ours. Oh, oh, both dads. Yes, we're two dads with three kids. And, oh, I think she went down with a whistle going, Two dads, three kids, two, <laughs> two, two. Queers at the front, three kids. <laughs> I swear to God, there was a queue. Well, queue come on, back here. Come like, on. You, must, you must have got so much and still, to an extent, get a bit of that. But go back, actually, 15 years is only 2001. I mean, honestly, it feels like we're talking about the dark ages. Mm. But you must have got a lot of that. In fact, I know that you weren't long home when you did get a knock on the door that scared the jeepers out of you. Yeah. Um, we actually, we were away from, from our uh, business for 10 weeks. So... We had the staff over, and we were catching up on, on news and gossip. At and, home. At home. Yeah. And uh, there was, it, this was Thursday evening. We arrived home Sunday, and um, a knock on the door, and two members of the Garda Sheikhana were at the door, and they, they said, we believe you have uh, brought babies into the country, and you I didn't... I nearly... Do you know what? Oh. And we, we were after, actually, we had to invite all the staff over, right? So I was there going, great, staff are over. And I thought... Th those days, obviously, you walked around, you had a baby in your arm the whole time. Sure. I'm in the front, out the back, out the back. The girl's coming over, the girl's coming over, everything's great. And then my babe there, spit thing here, yeah. what a ding dong at the door, what a this fine looking guy and a, and a woman, Garda Sheik on and your man. And they go, Your attention to detail, who, I have who to lives say, here? Is, uh, who is lives here? Else? And I'm kind of going, Me. <laughs> and my, my partner, and, and who else? Three kids, yeah. Uh, can we come in? We're guarded. Uh, me there. Oh, you started, you started I really getting nervous then, did you? I, th I thought everything was going to just and fall it, it apart. Was, well, what did you think was going to happen? In your fear, in your biggest fear moment? My biggest fear was... Um, the state, was, my biggest the, fear the state that the was moving was against, against us against. already. To do what? We would have had to try and move back to America with them. But you thought the state was coming in to say what? Well, take, our, take our kids, possibly. Right, so it yeah. was that, that ultimate it fear that you expressed. I, I knew he had everything in. Yeah.